Hey, my name's Shonek. Uh, welcome to Mango Bay. We had a fun time with these guys. <laughs> Is that good? Mango Bay, Mango Bay. Uh -huh. For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango? Bay. Easy on the N-word, Shonik. <laughs> chill, bro, chill. Welcome to Mango Bay. <laughs> Oh, welcome, welcome to Mango Bay. One-stop shop for South Asian recklessness. We are two best boys, Usama Siddiqui. Pranav Bihari. And we bring in the South Asian tamasha, the wild, the crazy, the stories, the goof. No. Join our Patreon.com slash Mango Bay. There we got is. all the stuff there. Don't even talk about it. Archived it's episodes. Early access, early bonus, access, bonus uh, Discord, Discord server. server. It's the best. It's a good time. Today, we got a guest. <laughs> I, I love always how Mango Bay works, bro. We, st we come in, right? Yeah. Every joke under the sun, right? Yeah. Then it starts. They're like, how do you do? <laughs> how do you do? Well, what Hello. Do you, you said today? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it becomes masterpiece Juggling. theater all of a sudden. Yeah. Welcome to Mango Bay, indeed. <laughs> it is I. Your boy and yours. It is me, Shawnee. <laughs> Don't kid me. Arch racist and homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shauna Gutkindi. Very, very, very funny guy from Atlanta. One of my favorites. Atlanta. I love this guy. Always Welcome. loved this guy. One of those guys I was loving from afar. Loving from afar. Same here, baby. You know, from the woods, just looking. I was like, oh, there he is. He's hilarious. <laughs> <up there." laughs> Through the blinds. <laughs> so funny. Oh, oh. That, is that you? What, who you were? <laughs> I was a little wood nymph looking at you, bro. Just skittering Beering. away. Like, oh, he's so funny. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, and then you had this Don't Tell that came out, and it was just like a monster, hilarious. Thank you, buddy. Goofy ass. Well, I always thought, and this is... I always thought you were the weird. I didn't know you did stand out. I thought you just made weird sketches yes. that were unrelatable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, his, have you seen his early sketch? It's the no. weirdest <laughs> shit on earth. He's like, hello, everybody. Oh, uh, dude, I did this weird character for a while. I didn't know that. What was it? I don't even know. I did. <laughs> I can't even. Is he does like this? And well, dude, it's, it's, <laughs> you would love this guy actually. I'll send you these videos. They're from like 2019, but I didn't even know we were following each other then. Dude, I wasn't. I wasn't following you. I just looked at your you stuff. Looking, oh, okay. He was working from afar. <laughs> I was like, this guy's weird as hell, man. <laughs> Making weird stuff. And then he has uh, this other brown guy in Atlanta who's like the dark version of you. Yeah, What's his yeah, name? Jay. Jay. Jay's so very Together they make these weird ass videos, like two Indian guys, <laughs> right? <laughs> Making alt theater, like, <laughs> literally like, like Tim and Eric level yeah. weirdo <laughs> shit. And I'm like, I never want to, like, I, I was like scared if like, I <laughs> watched him in videos, I'd wake up like them. I was like fearful of you, dude. <laughs> really? I was fearful of your comedy. Because <laughs> it was just so, so no holds barred. It was so weird. <laughs> Thank you. I, I got to check this you, out. Yeah. You, 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 you would love this. You would, because yeah. Pranav loves that. You know, uh, you know. Uh, uh, I think you should leave type comedy. Too. Oh, sure. And so I didn't know you were stand up. Then I saw you do some stand up stuff. I'm like, oh, this guy's hilarious on stand up as well. Thank but you, bro. He came from a bed of like fear. Of the <laughs> fear is so funny. I didn't think they were that <laughs> freaky. Bro. This guy's losing his mind. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, I've been a fan forever, dude. The Thank pod you. is awesome, and both you guys have been killing it. Cool. Thank and, you so uh, much. Thanks, bro. I've straight up listened to the podcast. Dude, you what an honor to be here. <laughs> yep. Happy to have Welcome to New York. Thank you. Dude, you feeling good? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's been a fun month. It's hot as hell, but dude, I'm loving it. One of the few comics that looks good in a boomerang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> boomerang? What do you mean a boomerang? <laughs> you know, like those, like the, the Australian <laughs> no, weapon? No, no, no. no. It's like, oh, like IG boomerang. <laughs> It's like, that, what? That sounds like an Australian sex term. Like, yeah, it is. I'd put him on the other, other end of a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Caught out another end of a boomerang. Yeah. It, it does sound like Caught an Australian out. term for rape, where it's like, <laughs> I hit it, and then I came right back. <laughs> came right back. They should be using that. They probably do. Yeah. yeah. Boomerang or us. <laughs> <laughs> hit it, came right back Wrong. to where I It is like a kind of rapey cult. They call it sex pest, first of all. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? What do you mean? The, sex, the culture of sexual assault in yeah. Australia. The culture? Yeah, it's called pests. They call it sex <laughs> pest. They, the they don't call you a rapist there. They call you a sex pest. Yeah. Which, Which is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cute. Oi, miss, can I get some pussy? Please. I mean, you can. Come on, miss. It sounds like you're tugging on your sleeve. <laughs> yeah, tugging on the, Come on, miss. I'd really like some pussy. Can I suck all your teeth? I've tried to do this sex pest joke on stage, too, and people are just horrified at me. So Mango <laughs> Bay is where I can, is the outlet for off. this. Yeah. The pest thing is weird. It might be 
of like extermination and like the bugs. Well, and we stuff. should exterminate. Them. You know, you can't <laughs> raid away trauma like that. You know what I'm saying? I bet but if there was a guy being weird, you should you could raid him. Though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's a very interesting fact that I learned yesterday. Right, a friend of mine who's really into music was telling me about this old like '60s band called uh, Zager and Evans or something. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. And they had these. They had like some bops, and people were like, "Oh, these guys are going to be the next Beatles. They're amazing." Wow. But they had like one song called 2255 or something mm. and that was a huge hit and they decided to follow it up with this song called Mr. Turnkey which <laughs> is which is whole, yeah. it's it's saying it the the song is actually nice sounding but it's all sung from the perspective of a rapist okay. in Wichita, Kansas, okay. oh. who's in jail, narrating how he raped somebody, and now he's in jail. And then oh at the end of the God. song, he crucifies himself in the cell. This is like 1962 or something. Keep in mind, right? Whoa. And so they immediately, immediately, they were like, "Nope, not the new Beatles after all. There no career after that, yeah. right?" Wow. But then my friend looked it up. And the only place that that song charted was Australia. What? It was like a hit in Australia. <laughs> Holy shit, mate! I've been doing this myself. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is relatable, eh? This is relatable. Roger, didn't you just do this? <laughs> Mr. Turnkey, it should be called Tuesday. Finally. It should be called Tuesday. <laughs> it's still in the top 40 still to this day. Yeah, to it's this like day. still hot. It's like top levels. Welcome dude. back to Dry Time Radio in Sydney. We're going to be playing after multiple requests, Mr. The- Turnkey. <laughs> Turnkey. <laughs> the Wiggles do it. <laughs> the Wiggles coming in, huh? Kids Bop with Australia. The, with the Kids Bop. Kids Bop Australia. Now that's what I'm And called. now we're here with Yaz doing a cover of Mr. Turnkey. That's so funny. It's on Kids Bop yeah. Australia. Turnkey Jr. Turnkey Jr. I take her down and I put her in my trunk. Uh, Y'all. Yo, Aussie, Aussie, Sing Aussie. Aussie. Sing Aussie. Aussie. Sing Aussie. <laughs> That's how they have the accents to offset our da- like our danger vibes. Yeah, yeah. How can I write if I sound like this? <laughs> I'm fun. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the way you talk during a, an assault act. You're like, come here. <laughs> Oi. It's a good accent for catcalling. Yes. Yeah. Hey, look at that ass. This new episode of Bluey is crazy. (laughs) (laughs) They're beating people? (laughs) Actually, uh, Australia has a uh, new stat. I I don't know how this is the same day that I read this. Their assault is going up. What? There's like a, a, a whole new initiative now. In Australia, because uh, it's an initiative. initiative. It's a state sponsor. <laughs> race <laughs> drive. Yeah. Oh my god! They're, it's going up, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, keep it up." You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a weird thing. Wait, like, the, the what's the initiative to stop? It's it? To stop it? To stop yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's because it's like on the rise. But like it's domestic sexual abuse. assault or oh, domestic abuse. Domestic abuse. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It's, all, it's all going up. Dude. Wonder what the hell's. That's it's hot, man. <laughs> it's hot. Also, they're Australians. That's yeah, they're hot Australians, dude. There's snakes over there. Yeah, <laughs> there's like big, like uh, Gatorade bottle sized spiders and stuff. They didn't have I the mean, most auspicious beginnings as a country. You know exactly. what I mean? We're like, yeah. we're all crooks, right. and yeah. that's that's in their blood. They're using that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it is. This is how the this is what the British Parliament sits around the talks about. This is what they're also saying. Bunch, bunch of naughty buggers. Yeah, bunch, bunch of, of <laughs> island full of buggers. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna call it Buggerers Island. <laughs> <laughs> Buggerers Island is so silly. Buggerers Cove. <laughs> Did this, these are sounding like Ben and Jerry flavors. <laughs> Rocky Road. Oh, God. Buggerers yeah. Island. <laughs> That's what with Ben and Jerry said. No matter what flavor it is, it sounds gay. Yeah, you know what totally. I'm saying? It's Ben and Jerry before the flavor, so oh, anything true. sounds gay. That's true. Chocolate chip. Oh, chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben and Jerry. Ben chocolate. And chocolate. Okay. Possessive. Hot, hot cum. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that one. <laughs> Who doesn't love? But Mom, they, can you get me some hot cum now? They, they, we have hot cum at home. I'm getting you Hagen Dazs butter pecan. <laughs> if you're gonna drink hot cum, we thought you do it at the house. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, dude, you're fucking. You're here now, dude. You're literally just came. Are here. you living here now? You yes. Came here. Okay, cool. Yes, I live. Were you scared to come into Amer- uh, America? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you I was. Slam here from Atlanta. When I was seven, I was very <laughs> scared to come. Here. You got your passport in Atlanta. <laughs> time to go to New York. Uh, were, you, were you scared like coming in? Like uh, everyone else? Yeah. Kind of. I just I didn't know what like because uh, everyone warns you that it's your first year is going to be so bad. <laughs> you're going to yeah. get buggered. <laughs> <laughs> the I LGA. don't want to get buggered on the <laughs> yeah. LGA. Please <laughs> don't bugger me. It's how you pass customs here. Yeah. 
Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to New York. It's the guy slapping it. <laughs> a rubber glove. <laughs> they take you into a tiny cupboard. They're like, come in. You want to get Wait, past? Wait, I'm not booked. No, no, no. I'm not there until Thursday. Yeah. Mm-mm, come here. <laughs> Anything to declare? <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> you're gay. Huh? Yeah. Uh, so you're coming here. The fear is there, right? Yeah, there's a little bit, but I was mostly excited. I yeah. was more optimistic than anything. Yeah. I felt really... I, I wanted to live here for a while. That's oh, yeah? good. Yeah. That's so. good. Because once you do those weird sketches, you're like... It's <laughs> the only I, place that only sets for one thing. in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to go to Rampa Bay then. I can imagine you doing the sketches on like the road and like nine black dudes like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just stab him on principle? Like, this is getting too goofy. This guy's getting too silly. When man. you have the natural predators leave and the prey <laughs> starts to proliferate, yeah. should we just start calling the, the herd here a little bit? No, I'm, I'm happy to be the harbinger of silly, bro. <laughs> you, oh, dude, you're so silly. You're so goofy. You're so goofy. And, it's, dude, it's like, goofy in a way that's not cloying. It's just, like, super fun. Like, oh, thank you, bro. You know, like, the, the cloying goofy is also a, a, a big that's brand a, here. That's a brand for sure. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think but that's what a, a product of Atlanta is, because you have to be silly, but you still have to make... Uh, cool guys that's with hats cool. that match their sneakers yeah. <laughs> that's the thing it's in Atlanta, Atlanta right <laughs> Atlanta is like you do a full set and then some thugged out like teardrop guy was like dude when you was doing the blue <laughs> yeah. you know the, the bit where you tripped a lot that was mad funny man <laughs> <laughs> I think like the idea though of somebody doing alt comedy in Tim's you know what I mean? <laughs> They're just slower because yeah. the Tim's are him slowing them down. <laughs> They're doing like Brett Weinbach style comedy. Yeah, yeah. Like super alt. <laughs> Way out there. <laughs> Y'all like impressions? <laughs> Y'all like impressions? Did you, guys, were you, did you guys both start here? Yeah. No, were I, you guys I both did. born in, in New York? Or? No, no. Uh, I'm in Dallas. I, I, I grew oh, up in Dallas. Really? I was born in Canada. Oh, what? Uh, born in Canada? Born in Canada, bro. Uh, but I grew up in Dallas. I'm a Dallas Where? kid. I started comedy in Dallas. Okay, that's where your I family met, is. I uh, met P like what seven, seven years, years ago. ago. Seven here, years ago, that's when like... I just started. Yeah, yeah here. Oh, I really? started here. Okay, cool. I was born in yeah. Pennsylvania, though. Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where in Pennsylvania? Outside of Harrisburg, Mechanicsburg. Mechanicsburg. They Known got a whole Brad farm. Michaels. Sounds like a fake place, right? Like, <laughs> Dang, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, Brent like Michaels <laughs> is from Mechanicsburg. It sounds like a place that left wing people say to go. Actually, Shane, why don't you go to Mechanicsburg and be straight? <laughs> or like when you see like uh, like hipster girls with the full overall thing. Yeah. <laughs> she's just she just she fucking left from mechanics. Right? <laughs> Shane Gillis is out. from mechanics. Is it really? Actually, now that I'm remembering. Wow, yeah. that's cool. He started in Pennsylvania. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. I think he was yeah. a Philly comic. A lot, lot of good people a, out there. Mechanicsburg. That's cool, bro. It's not. Come no? on, man. You, you you grew up in Atlanta. I grew up in, uh, I moved to the States when I was seven. Yeah. lived in Chicago until I was 14. Moved to the States? What do you mean? You from India? Mm-hmm. Oh, de pai, from Gujarat. No, from Pune. You grew up, you grew up uh, seven years in Pune. Marathi. Uh, Marathi, yes. Yeah. So, Bye, seven years means you know the language very well. Well, I, I can speak Marathi, yeah, yeah. But then we lived in Kuwait for a while, too. So we were back and forth in, in Kuwait. Kuwait. Yeah. Ah. What? I know. So I lived in the Middle East for a little Which while. Which means you're gay, by the way, right? Like Kuwait, <laughs> yeah. wink, right? Yeah. Went to Kuwait for a while. <laughs> Went to Kuwait for a while. Got my yeah. Daddy's in Kuwait. <laughs> Okay. My dad's in Kuwait, y'all. Actually, you can't be gay over there. They'll like no, no, really hate that. Oh, no, it's, What's the place where the uh, Arabians go to drink and party before they come back? Beirut. Ba- Bahrain. Beirut. And ba- Beirut. No, it's not Kuwait. <laughs> no, no, Beirut. No, Beirut. Right? Everywhere else there, you'll get fucking killed. No, no, no. If you but, yeah, indicate if, that you have a from, penis. From, from Arabia, right? If you go to Bahrain, it's also very left wing. No, oh. it's not. <laughs> Something not, with a not at all. <laughs> okay. well, I think your baby's Ku- is Kuwait. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, Wait, so it, it. you're telling me there's a place where guys well, go to just have fun? It sounds like the beginning of a song. By the way. You're telling me there's a place where guys go to have some fun. It's called Bahrain. Kuwait. Bahrain. <laughs> Top one Australia again. <laughs> I'm waiting around for my turn in Kuwait. <laughs> I can't wait for Kuwait. Kuwait. It's gotta be, dude. I swear to God, it's Kuwait. <laughs> Kuwait is not, my dude, friends. There's like no partying over there. It's okay, just like, they're like money, one of the guys. principal financiers of ISIS. <laughs> dude, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm Googling. <laughs> they're not about it. Okay? I'm, I'm Googling Kuwait. I like gay. how the guy who lived in Kuwait is like, no, man, they're not into that. He's like, let me Google this, actually. <laughs> I, I Googled. Stop gay splaining to Shauna <laughs> right now. I just Googled Kuwait gay. And there's Stop a lot, man there's on man splaining. There's a lot of. You're going to fuck up your search you're gonna fuck up your ads now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was do you page. need prep in, in the middle east <laughs> poppers in the middle east do you need to flee wherever you're <laughs> yeah, at yeah. do you need an underground <laughs> to leave kuwait 
<laughs> Your algorithm's gonna be fucked up, dog. <laughs> you in Kuwait for how long? Uh, when I was, we moved there when I was three. I lived there when I was until I was like seven. Then lived a year in India. Then moved to. Oh uh, shit. You know, uh, you know Gujarati, uh, Marathi, to speak it. Yeah, I can speak Marathi. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing, dude. Yeah, I speak. I mean, in the house, we speak like a mix of Marathi English. But mm. when I talk to my grandparents, I'm like testing. Full dude. Yeah, you have to. You went to the the whole uh, Hindu lifestyle, like uh, pujas and Chinmay mission and all that. Yeah, no mission. Did you yeah. do a mission trip? I went to mission. What is on that? On a Chinmaya mission? Why, why would that have been the case? Well, I used to hang out with my boy Arjun a lot. And so after the mosque, I, we'd go to his house and he'd be like, well, we're going to the temple right now That's for like Chinmaya mission. the after party of the mosque. He's like, that's <laughs> for the real shit. <laughs> Dude, not to the have disco ball drops. <laughs> Dude, I bring in like. <laughs> <laughs> not to have sweet milk with my, from my palm. <laughs> the yeah, after party. Yeah, yeah. Three <laughs> almonds <laughs> from my palm. <laughs> Where are bananas at? <laughs> time to tap, time to tap the, the Charnamrath keg. <laughs> <laughs> and now the party starts making the shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> it was legit that it was legit because it was way more fun than than um, the mosque yeah well there's the just show. more going on mm. and the women can be in the room <laughs> yeah, <it's true>. yeah. <laughs> there's always one Indian uncle who's like not happy about it you know oh, what I'm saying no, like no. he has no idea he's like actually a Muslim vibe you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. It's true. he's like he has no idea how Muslim he is yeah, like are yeah. these ladies in the same room what is going on you know <laughs> and like that. if I could just <laughs> Spend an hour across the street <laughs> to really feel that. <laughs> A whole new world. <laughs> Another Muslim uncle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> From across the street. <laughs> I mean, I feel sneak you in one day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Abhinav. Yeah. It's a great Hindi name. <laughs> Abhinav is the most Hindi name of all time. <laughs> if you go back to Hindu factory settings, the, yeah, the yeah. first Abhinav. name is Abhinav. Yeah. That's like if you were, first name. If there was a Pokemon in India, Abhinav, Abhinav would have been the, one of the a default names. Abhinav appeared. <laughs> It is the first Hindu thing that you experience. Yeah, yeah. I, I had some friends in Abhinav. I, I yeah, Abhis a, I know a few Abhis. Abhis Abhinav. is a, Abhi is a very common yeah, yeah, yeah. prefix for names. Yes. Did, did you did you grow up with a lot of Indians around here? Is it more like uh, who's the most prominent yeah. Abhi in the Mahabharat? Abhinav, who is Abhimanyu? Abhimanyu, who is who is Arjuna's son? Wow! <laughs> wow! Son of Fuck you, Joe! <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. You know, Joe's been doubting you this yeah, whole time. Dude. Bye -bye Fuck this. What? <laughs> Bugger this, bitch. This guy doesn't know he's at the house. He's playing this, Minesweeper bitch. over there. Yeah. He's playing Minesweeper over <laughs> there. <laughs> Joe's been this whole time. This guy doesn't know he's at the house. This guy doesn't know he's at the house. Stop playing Minesweeper. That's my culture, Joe. Yeah. Guys, stop culturally appropriating. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I grew up around so many people. We grew up in, in our neighborhood in Chicago. Which is like most of my childhood, seven to fourteen. Mm, yeah. We had like Indian people in the apartment complex, but there were also a lot of black Puerto Rican kids. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then white kids at school. So, so it was pretty mixed. You had the Indians yeah. and the gangster disciples, <laughs> Dude, the Latin kids. Literally, <laughs> Latin, yeah. Quite literally, we had we would be like playing like touch football outside, and then the GDs would want to play touch football, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd be like, actually, we have to go Dude. home and uh, do some homework. Dude, actually. I gotta go to Cuman. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> This guy's going to class for a spice. <laughs> Dude, this happened to me in fucking Jersey. I'd be playing with my mom. Like, my mom's doing chess passes to the to the basketball yeah. to net, right? And, and she's still dunking on Literally, you. <laughs> two black guys in the neighborhood, like Rashad and his boy, were like, yeah. you want to go 2v2? I'm like, 2v2? <laughs> Damn, you <laughs> woman in a hijab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just put a hijab on this black dude. Yeah. Like, now we're even. Now <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> black dude in a hijab doing dude, windmill dunks is yeah. awesome. That's a it's great. Like Joanna man in Kuwait. Yeah. <laughs> she has to wear a hijab for the movie. They CGI it on her. I, literally that. Literally that was in Jersey because we lived in a poorer place for a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's insane. So you had all, all types. I mean, it's Atlanta. I mean, in Chicago. Right? Yeah, Chicago. It was right outside Chicago. Uh, th but it would be funny. I'm picturing you and your mom yeah. playing. These two guys come. So they said two on two, but then they mean you and uh, one of those guys, and then Rashad and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and they just have incredible chemistry on the court. Okay, well, let's see. did you ever hear of or read this book? It's by this Indian guy. He's a sociologist. He came to Chicago to like Cabrini Green and shit, and he like embedded himself with the gangster disciples. Yeah. What? This guy's name is Sudhir Venkatesh. Yeah, 
Jewish. Okay. okay. <laughs> he's a sociologist. He wrote a book called, he wrote two books. One of them was like more sociological academic. Right, right. The other one's just called like American Project. It's got him on the cover and like a leather jacket yeah. or whatever. <laughs> but he like embedded himself with the gangster disciples. He's like, oh. actually, these guys are pretty good for the yeah. community. That was like his old thing. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. So he be, how did he get inside? Yeah. That's he was insane. just like, hey guys, I have this survey. And they're like, fuck that survey. <laughs> I'm going to give you the real survey. <laughs> then they jumped him in or something. What? And then he started doing like sociolo- sociological <laughs> study. I'm just picturing that scene in Borat where he's like in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. I'll beam snow. <laughs> he's like, I'm in face. It's basically that. <laughs> yeah, it's just the serious version of that. <laughs> and this is back when Indians were Indians. Like this guy. And they yeah, probably was, didn't yeah. know too many of these people. When was this conducted? This is like. Or like early 2000s. Yeah, so right. That he did this. I guess there had been a pretty big tech boom, so people were coming. From, I think they were like, well, oh, it's the bodega N word. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, Ak want to hang out or whatever. <laughs> right. It's like, I'm right. the air, you know? <laughs> like, Ak, you crazy. <laughs> Ah, you're crazy. <laughs> I saw a guy got jumped in in my apartment complex. When oh, I was oh. really? What the heck? So it was like, we used to, in the summer, in the warm months, you just hang out outside. But in, yeah, the, in the jump in season? Yeah. yeah, jump in season happened in the winter. Um, and everyone was just hanging out inside. I remember we were like, we'd just fuck around in people's apartments. We'd go to empties a lot yeah. and like, you know, just fuck around in there. The one time we were leaving an empty and there was like, we were in the stairwell. This guy was getting jumped in and they did this thing where they put three dimes on the ground uh-huh. and then you had to pick up three dimes while these guys just wailed well, on you. Whoa. And uh, they didn't know we were watching and then when we saw it, they were like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and they like scared us away and we were freaking out. But this guy got his ass kicked. Holy dude. shit. Yeah. Well, really, I like how they made it like a game though. Where it's like, yeah. can you pick up the three yeah. dimes? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got streamers. It's like a quinceanera <laughs> vibe actually. Right, you know, good these, job, dog. Yeah. Captain Tortino yeah. on the way out. We'll send you an email. <laughs> exactly. This is the era. We'll get you onboarded soon. <laughs> but, uh, listen, we got you a cake. You know, uh, well, and we're Blue Claws Blue Shield. <laughs> yeah. Are you good with that? <laughs> Welcome to the Gangster Disciples. <laughs> Fun vibe. I mean, uh, <laughs> and this is the era of like Mario Party was big. You know, so yeah. they're playing Mario Party, like, we should use this in our. It's <laughs> <That's> really fun. <laughs> hey, hey, what is it? You know? <laughs> I love the idea of you like walking by and you hear Sudhir's fucking jump in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, please, no. Guys. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. No, wait. guys, please. Is this a regulation time? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> guys, 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 please. Bargaining while he's getting I, his I ass. I signed the bonds. <laughs> Do I get to keep the 30 cents? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> the Gujarati jump in. The Gujarati jump in. <laughs> like, at least let me keep the dimes. <laughs> I'll do anything for 30 cents. Yeah, that's the danger of a, a Gujarati jumping in with that <laughs> method. <laughs> is that he'll get he'll die before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do this anymore. No, 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 no. There's one dime left. <laughs> you think of him a Viking funeral because he died for 30 cents. Like, he went out like a G, like a real G. We've never seen this before, bro. He swallowed the dime. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really yeah. wanted to keep him. He was a G, man. <laughs> he was a G. He, he was really a G wanted to keep man. him. <laughs> After it's over, he's like, okay, another 30. Let's go. He's ready. <laughs> no, no, you already jumped in. Like, no, we can't anymore. Please, Narendra or whatever. Narendra, you keep eating the, the, they, all, they all quit. They're like, you're crazy, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you're fucking crazy. Honestly, we're too scared to be in it. Whatever gang with you. Legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scaring the GDs because you're freaking out. <laughs> you're so insane about the money. <laughs> <laughs> that guys, we're going to be jumped in again. They're like, yeah, we already well, did that. We did that. Once. <laughs> no, come on. We heard we've been <laughs> getting <laughs> jumped in in <laughs> other <laughs> gangs, too. Please, just shoot me. Just shoot <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we heard you did this with the Crips, too. And the Latin kids. Yeah, they gave me 40 cents. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's like an Indian ski scam. <laughs> This guy's getting rid of 60 cents at a time. jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Can my boy go too? Yeah. 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 No. He comes back with a wig. He's like, hey, yeah. guys. Yeah. Heard you're hiring. <laughs> no, we know that you, your red bob wig is not selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> one year later, that guy comes back and he's like, I own half this block. Yeah. 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 I invested that dollar $1.20 that I made that scamming 20. you guys. And now I own half of Skokie, Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> Did you walk by all the black dudes have brown accents? And how are you doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is Udesh Tav. I'm Tyrone. Man, after the Udesh took over the oh, neighborhood. Man, yeah. We it was on James. site after the Udesh. <laughs> you, know, you know how like when uh, Mughals took over, they became a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So they takes over, everyone's brown. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's became brown. 
Hi, I'm Jamal. They've all got tikkas on their foreheads. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, am I a hollow yeah. I did, uh, Her new name is the RSS, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm Shaniqua. Yeah. <laughs> I traded in my Hellcat for this turd. <laughs> 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 you were, you, were some of them your friends like some of the GDs like straight up the younger like their younger brothers I knew oh, and I, I knew like them because <laughs> they just thought I was the silly yeah I've just right. been this kid my whole life so right. they were like oh yeah Shawnee's cool he's just weird yeah, yeah. um so I never got bothered by them. I just knew their younger brothers and stuff. And then... Well, every... every they're like, Shanique, it's the male yeah. of Shaniqua. Yeah. He's in. Yeah. 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 He's black, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. really a problem for us. Hi, <laughs> 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 What up, bro? I mean, <laughs> literally, that was the vibe. Fully, yeah. like the fully vibe. that was yeah. our interaction. <laughs> Whenever you're doing sketches, they clear it out. Like, oh, yo, Sean, I'm making this thing. Sean about to do his thing. Sean about to... You know? I have a propeller cap and a big lollipop. Yeah. One of them's doing sound for you. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good take. It's really. like <laughs> nobody fights on Shawnock shoot days. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody fighting it's during like Shawnock shoot days. Yeah, I mean, the Bloods the don't fight that day. <laughs> we, like, love the, we love this N-word's old standings. Shawnock's <laughs> in a car doing Kiki. Do you love yeah. it? Like, That's a fight and joy right there, man. That's Shawnock. Shawnock are right. Let Ooh. him rock. Let him rock. <laughs> <laughs> They're like paying off cops. Yeah. Yeah. He's not doing comedy without a net, yo. Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy, He's comedy man. without a net. This guy crazy, man. Yeah. This guy crazy for real. <laughs> But they really know comedy too. Like the ways he, the, the, the ladies he takes, yeah, man. Yeah. They're like into it. Yeah. He's reminiscent of a new Evil Phillips. You know what I'm saying? He, he reminiscent. Now it's got like Portlandia vibes for you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys saw Portlandia. That's cool. If Tim and Eric and Shawnee, as far as we concerned. <laughs> Ma, let his bubbles bounce, bro. Let his bubbles bounce, man. Come on, bro. Let his bubbles bounce. <laughs> Best sketch on earth, by the way. If y'all don't know, <laughs> what Bubba Bounce? Bubba Bounce? The black lady jump uh, dancing. Bubba Bounce. Tim and Eric, and then she has a baby, and the baby's in a rocket ship and flies. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Good. Classic. Dude, yes, classic. I saw that. <laughs> that was on uh, Adult Swim Tim, one time. I don't think I've been able to find it. My favorite. You can literally just uh, Google uh, YouTube Bubba Bounce, and it's like, okay, it's a cool. Who who paid these extras? Like it's like a. I know they like have Tim so many they, random people. Like, there, there was never a paperwork for this role. <laughs> no, yeah. no, hundred percent. You didn't no. sign anything to be on this show. But I think one of the cool things about it was they just got these like because it did the thing that like Nathan Fielder show right, right. also did, where it just got regular people being themselves so many oh, times. Oh, didn't yeah. And they just didn't look like the lady in that doesn't look like an actor. She That's just looks like a lady you'd see on the street. The funniest thing about that to me is that like people in that kind of scene of comedy are seen as like the most progressive and like the nicest but they're doing actually the most evil exploitative <laughs> thing possible yeah, yeah. like hey poor lady <laughs> just get in here you want a job yeah, yeah maybe you're right about yeah. that <laughs> millions of liberal arts students will be laughing at you soon so. and you will have no idea you what no the joke idea. is they don't really know either because like you're like what'd you get for the role they're like two crisp cranes yeah exactly <laughs> and it was the best day of my life and and it's, like, like the, it's like the white version of jumping somebody in it's like yeah. you get three dimes for this <laughs> yeah you get three dimes as everyone wails on you I mean they're gonna be laughing at you, but yeah. that's the same thing. It's, it's arguably worse. <laughs> yeah, it's arguably worse. It's going to echo through eternity, actually. <laughs> You'll be on a bus uh, years from now, get yeah. laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> For real? The three dimes thing is crazy. I'm just really realizing how insane. It was really harrowing to watch because <laughs> we saw these guys we kind of knew at the bottom of the stairs. We were at, like, top of the stairs, and we were like, oh, wait, and then they just started kicking the shit yeah. out wait, of the camera. Wait, in the foyer, like, like next to so the mailboxes? Like, in, like, an apartment building, yeah. the bottom stairs underneath the stairs. <laughs> So like it, the chairs yeah. met the, the yeah yeah ground. that's the that's the seediest place yeah. that's where the drug gooch, deals or like blowjobs happen yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. gooch of the building the gooch yeah. of the building yeah the taint of the building yeah. them calling it that all right <laughs> meet, yeah. the me, gooch. meet me in the gooch <laughs> meet me in the gooch at seven <laughs> you get jumped in my boy but there's a sign in sheet it's like oh shit guys sorry gooch was occupied <laughs> hey Someone guys was getting we a actually had job. the gooch we actually had we the gooch for three hours today what's your is your party over eight okay no then we had the gooch we have a conference call today at the gooch. 
<laughs> I signed it to a Zoom call. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. To the Gooch. Gooch background. <laughs> virtual background. <laughs> virtual background for the Gooch. The Gooch is so hollowed. It's one of the five main backgrounds. <laughs> they came on Zoom. Palm tree and Gooch. That's Palm tree. <laughs> beach. Beach. Space and Gooch. And Gooch. <laughs> space Gooch. <Yeah. laughs> space and Gooch. Which is space, space twice. and then not space. Not space yeah. 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 <laughs> no space at all. <laughs> hey guys, we actually had the Gooch. Uh, we actually had a startup meeting here. Oh no, we actually also have a startup meeting uh, if you think about it. Gooch. Oh my god, <laughs> the Gooch. Where, so did you grow up in, uh, you said Dallas? In Dallas. Well, I, I had a stint in, uh, in New Jersey. Okay. So New Jersey for like four years, then I was in Dallas for uh, most of my life. Oh really? Okay. And uh, the scary stuff was all in New Jersey. We, we were, I think we lived in a poor place. Oh yeah, really? Where, where in New Jersey? Do you uh, know? Mama Junction. Okay. I, I went back really there know. recently just to see how. If poor it's called it was. a junction, you know it's not a good place. <laughs> yeah. This is a place where you go to go somewhere else. And you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a junction. It's a, it's well, what a way out of what town. What happens when a white person has a gooch? It's called a junction. It's called a junction. junction. <laughs> That's the white gooch. <laughs> a big girl's yeah. ju- gooch when, is called when, a junction. When you gentrify the gooch, <laughs> it, becomes it becomes a junction. junction. Big girl's perineum <laughs> is it? <laughs> Is it junction? No, pimp. She had a junction down there. <laughs> Actually, I took a little break at her junction before I moved on to eating her ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was junked up. You know? Okay, you were in the junction. I was in the junction. Um, That's pretty wild. I know. It was. It was. It was. That's where Rashad was. Oh, okay. Rashad's turf. Rashad's you know? turf. He's uh, going two v two against <laughs> anyone. Two against any brown Just, auntie. <laughs> but specifically brown auntie. He was like, I'll, I'll show all y'all. Latika. <laughs> we still on for three. <laughs> See, I love that because I grew up in the suburbs. So for me, it would be seeing like women. In full hijab, but playing beach volleyball at like a park oh, across yeah. the street. That's adorable. That's pretty adorable, you know. Yeah, I, I see that now where my parents live, and it's yeah. actually very. Strange. Yeah, not like them breaking ankles on the court though <laughs> against Rashad or whatever, you know. My Snapping mom. ankles. And my mom couldn't understand anything but what was going on, like yeah. d- dangerously. Like Rashad was not respecting us. Yeah. And my mom was like, "Where? What school do you go to?" <laughs> I'm like, "This guy hasn't been to a school in four years." Rashad is actually kicked out. This guy was truant at four years old. <laughs> like it was so Rashad was so intense dude Rashad they're like okay guys time to everybody to go SAT prep okay. Osama has SAT prep are you doing yeah. ACT you do Rashad come on come stab, 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 stab. Yeah. He, he does it alright auntie <laughs> What is this? Pythagoras and Rash, Rashad was great. Rashad, we like be on the swings. Rashad would like put th- throw us down on the oh. off the swings. Rashad was a real menace. alpha in the junction. He was yeah. definitely junked alpha man. He was turning it into the gooch. Yeah. He was yeah. turning it, He's cooching it up. This guy. Yeah, I like how you're reminiscing kind of fondly. Like Rashad was great man. He's man throw Rashad. us off the swings. <laughs> You know, man. Made me jack him off yeah. one. This guy was, was amazing. Like, was incredible. Me. Hey, buddy, hey. Made it was me. an honor. Uh, come on. I got a purple heart <laughs> and a purple mouth. Uh, uh, dude, it was, it was. Do you know what he's doing now? Rashad is for sure dead right yeah. now. Aww, this motherfucker is. No. Oh, or a quantum physicist. One of those two. <laughs> There's nine between. Nine between, between this guy. Between where he just like runs a mechanic shop no, or no. something. In Mechanicsburg? No. Yeah. He can just even out his middle management. Yeah. 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 He can just have a screen for right. he, 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 my mom's assistant actually right. <laughs> yeah. my mom's good little boy on the court feeding her dimes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. No, no, shot. Uh, who knows, bro? Yeah. Who, do you know who your school bully is? Like, you have a, like where that guy? Yeah, dude. I you know. You know. Uh, I know because he uh, tried to get me to join a pyramid scheme. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, Alex Crescenti. I'll say his full name. Yeah. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. He's he's a was loser. He, he can't afford podcasts. Yeah. yeah, no, he's not getting on a podcast. He's too busy selling energy uh, for drinks. Three small dimes. <laughs> our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> We'll jump you in. <laughs> That'd be the, that should be the next echelon of Patreon. We jump you in. Yeah, the, the Indian jumping. Yeah, yeah. You Scroll go. up to one twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, that's just the one getting beat. Yeah. Yeah. Plus five minus six is. I can't. I can't do it. You're hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even give me a bubble sheet. It was just <laughs> spell transubstantiation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> Chop pulling him, while he's... Like, bro. I I got almost duped by a Herbalife guy. Really? I got in. I went to the their house. Really? Indian man and Did his wife. You- 
By the way, perfect candidate. For, for yeah, life? truly. A hundred percent. Tall, charismatic guy who just is friends yeah. with people. With no scruples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just disgusting. Unscrupulous. I, I can do it. I can do it. Because sell schlock to middle-aged ladies. <laughs> yeah, Middle-aged white ladies. I like a car full of Rubbermaid. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm on the way. Yeah. White BMW with the logo on the side. <laughs> the, the, the hot, like the, the guy that they wanted to marry. Yeah. The, if I wasn't married, man. I, I had a summer job working for one of these pyramid schemes. Oh, yeah. It was called DS Max. What the hell? And you know what? It Sounds was like all, a shoe. It was. It does. It was all Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons because they're Whoa. like used to the door to door thing. Yeah. So they were out there just like. And they also probably just want a way out. Some of them. Yeah. I think they right. just want to get into the money. Maybe. Game. Yeah. Money game. I think they were just using their skill, their door to door skills to like. What were sell. they selling? It was like it was every day. It was a different thing, but it was different That's coupon books, promotional books. It'd be right. like a, a book of like oil changes, you know, <laughs> how many and, oil changes and stuff are you like getting? that. But it was just all the most degenerate people and you found out how degenerate Jehovah's Witnesses were oh yeah like I'm talking to another guy Aaron he's like yeah man Cynthia just blew me in a Burger King what? parking lot I'm like the Jehovah's Witness he's like oh yeah <laughs> did, did, did Jehovah, Jehovah witness it Jehovah done witness tits <laughs> Jehovah's seen too much <laughs> okay <laughs> That, I just pictured a scene where you're like interrogating them. Yeah. <laughs> Jehovah's seen too much. We want to know. We want answers. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness Protection. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Jehovah's Witness Protection. <laughs> ain't here no more. His name's Earl now. <laughs> Okay, and he lives in Biloxi. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you said you almost got scammed too? I did get scammed. What? So they gave me the herbal It was an Indian man and his wife. <laughs> you're like, I, you're right. I am maybe menopausal. <laughs> I could use these, these shakes. <laughs> Patreon.com. Come on down to the Patreon. Come on into the Patreon, guys. We're talking about Usama getting... Uh, getting inducted. <laughs> getting jumped in. Yeah. Emotionally. Your mango bird. Hey.